Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the USA and MIA hockey legend, a graduate of Winthrop High School, Mike Arruzioni. A native son of Winthrop, Massachusetts, Mike Arruzioni captained his hockey team at Winthrop Senior High School before playing four standout years at Boston University. But it was his time as captain of the legendary 1980 Olympic hockey team where Mike became a national hero. He scored Team USA's game-winning goal against the Soviet Union in one of the greatest moments in American sports history and helped lead his team to the gold medal that we still celebrate today. Everybody, when they talk about Arizona, you usually hear, the guy scored one goal and he's set for life. What do you think about that? They don't know who I am. <laughs> you know, football was my passion in high school. and I played more baseball than any sport. Hockey was something you did in the wintertime. And you lived in a, a multi-family home, right? And went through I lived, like lived in a three-family house, which I live next door to now. And we lived in the first and the second floor. And I have four sisters and a brother. Uh, you know, growing up in that three-family, I think I look back on my my life as not as so much even as an athlete as a person. Uh, it was it was the greatest place you could live. I thought everybody lived in a three-family. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it just a great place to live in, and I still live there now. As we got older in the house, Christmas time and holidays, all the family would go to my floor and my dad would take out to the guitar and he'd play and sing and then my sisters and aunts and uncles and would all sing songs and Christmas songs and then my uncle every once in a while would ask my father to recite, oh captain, my captain. That was kind of somewhat of a ritual around the house that every once in a while on holidays my uncle would tell my father to do my cap, oh captain, my captain and my father would dramatize the whole thing. He was a character. He was a good man, he was a working man. He worked three jobs. He loved his wife, he loved his kids, he loved his friends. And uh, he, he took great pride in, in, in his children. My dad passed away a few years ago, lived a great life, 93 years old. Taught me a lot of great things, couldn't ice skate, worth a, worth a soul. Uh, I remember when I played one time at BU, I had a breakaway during the game and I missed the breakaway. And the game was over and my dad, he was waiting for me and I said, a pretty good game, he goes, yeah. I said, boy, that. Goalie made a nice save in that breakaway. He said, you should have deked the goalie. I said, what? He said, you should have deked the goalie. Now, deking the goalie is when you fake the goalie out. I said, uh, really? I said, what does deke mean? He goes, I don't know, but the guy behind me told me you should have deked the goalie. <laughs> so I learned, don't listen to my father about ice hockey. But the values and the lessons were important. We had, uh, you know, some things in common, and a lot of it would be our work ethic. You know, my dad worked hard, and, and he instilled that in me. You know, when I played hockey, football, and baseball, it didn't matter if I struck out or dropped a fumble or didn't score a goal. It, it was important that I worked hard. The only poem I know anything about is, Oh Captain, My Captain. And it has nothing to do with me as captain of my high school hockey team, or captain of Boston University, or captain of an Olympic team. I heard this poem when I was seven, eight, nine years old, when my father used to recite, Oh Captain, My Captain. Certain words he would stress a little more, you know. I don't remember all of them, but I do remember the endings. It was, wasn't just falling cold and dead, it was like falling cold and dead. Like, oh my God. O Captain, My Captain by Walt Whitman. O Captain, My Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is won. The port is near, the bells I hear, the people all exulting. While fellow eyes, the steady keel, the vessel grim and daring. But O oh heart, 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 O oh the bleeding drops of red, where on the deck my captain lies, fallen, cold, and dead. O oh, captain, my captain, raise up and hear the bells. Rise up, for you the flag is flung, for you the bugle trills. For our bouquets and ribboned wreaths, for you the shores are crowding. For you they call the swaying mass, their eager faces turning. Here, captain, dear father, the arm beneath your head. It is some dream that on the deck you fallen, cold and dead. My captain does not answer, his lips are pale and still. My father does not feel my arm, he has no pulse nor will. The ship is anchored safe and sound, its voyage closed and done. From fearful trip, the victor ship comes in with object one. Exalt, O shores, and ring, O bells. But I, with mournful tread, walk the deck my captain lies, fallen, cold, and dead.